Hope you girls play nice. My first time in this colony this year. Very strong colony right here. So we got the feeding shim still on top. And I'm seeing comb built down here on this end. Because I left so much space, they're encouraged to draw a comb. And that doesn't surprise me. It does surprise me to see it done this early in the season. But with the weather we've been having, I guess it should be a surprise. They actually built the comb right over top the bag. It is worker brood. Well, I don't know. It might be drain brood now I look at it again. Before I go any further, I want to make sure my smoker's in check. Okay, what we're going to have to do to keep from hurting any of these bees is the smoky flush. That's why I call it the smoky flush. Basically, you push the bees off of the comb so you don't squish anybody when you slide your hive tool underneath the comb to cut it free from the frame. And look a little bit something like that. And we'll just set it over here for right now. And the same thing here. You see now we gotta clean up the top of these frames so the inner cover will fit back on this box. So we'll just take all this burr comb and propolis and everything they did over the winter and set it off to the side for now. Oops. Had a piece fall through the hole. That went right on the ground and I surely would have forgot. Next thing you know, I have small be hive beetles and I don't need that headache. <laughs> So see, we're going to have to split this colony most likely. Otherwise, we know what's on their mind. So what we'll do, I think to make this a little easier, is take this box off, set it over on the side, and set that inner cover back up on the two-story portion of the hive. Which I cannot believe how well it's holding together and how heavy it is oh my goodness that thing is full of honey wow 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 i was wondering how uh this stayed together with all those high winds we've been having now I know. Clean up the top of these frames. It's a lot of drones they're raising. I told you Stan was a strong, strong man. There was a lot of boys in here. The girls would make this so much easier if you would just stay out of the way for a minute. I don't want to hurt anybody. But I can't do this all day long, so. Had two calves this morning up at the farm and I want to go get them tagged. And, uh, you know, I actually think there's a swarm cell right there and right there. I'm going to cut those off. And 
and we'll use those to make our splits. Okay, we're getting it to look a little bit better here. Come on, girls. My smoker's not really doing the greatest on its side. I feel like I need to add something to it here. There we go. Threw some dry leaves in there. Yeah, so see there's a clean cell right there and right there, right between those frames. So what we'll do is I'll hop down and put that frame and another frame in that box down there. I just want to make sure that I do not scrape that queen cell when I pull this up. It's all like super glued together making it really tricky to go slow there we go oh they're medium frames i didn't give that any thought it gets me every time every time oh well we're gonna use it so here's the clean cell right here that will give this split down here Now you want to make sure that each of these frames does not have the queen on it before you stick it over in your split. And preferably, you give them some capped brood, lots of capped brood, and some a little bit of open brood's fine. But try and concentrate. Wow, look at all those. I just ripped a few of them. Swarm cells galore, folks. Here's the one I left. I do not see the queen or any freshly laid eggs. I'm gonna move it. And this is the other frame with cells. I don't want it from the split, so we'll slide it over. Extremely healthy colony. Look at this. Huge queen cell right here. About my finger. We've got... A bunch of capped brood. Over here, over here, we'll look and see if we got any eggs. We'll move some bees out of the way. No eggs. I do not see the queen. So I need to find another box to stick this frame in. And I think for now, We'll use this box. This will be another split. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, walk-away splits. Um, sure, they do have their place, and sometimes they do work out. But when you're counting on that colony to uh, start growing and actually be counted as a hive, because it's queen, right? You can't really do that until the queen's mated and laying, and there's a lot of risk still involved in those parts. During mating, she could be hit by a car, ate by a bird. It's, there's just a lot of risk. She may mate poorly because of the weather. Capped brood. Let's see if there's any eggs. 
Get out of the way, girls. No eggs. So not only am I giving them nectar, cap brood, um, I'm giving them a bunch of nurse bees. We're gonna go ahead and add it to this box. And for the time being, why it's right here, I'm gonna give them this as their bottom board. Now, since these are medium frames going into a deep frame box, what will happen is they'll end up drawing comb off the bottom of that medium frame and extending it into a deep frame. I know that ahead of time, so I won't be surprised. The good thing here is, is I'm making this colony weaker and uh, hopefully we'll gain some more hive numbers from splitting this one colony. Lots and lots of nectar on that frame. Still working on building this side out, but there is some nectar towards the top of the frame. We'll give that to this one. So now we can remove this medium box. And maybe what I could do, I imagine the queen's gonna be down here. Okay, pollen, nectar, looks like more of a pollen frame, which is, makes sense, it's on the outside. Pollen probably adds more insulation to the colony. Do not see any eggs. So, we'll set this frame down over here, if I can get the bees off the bottom of the frame. And we'll go to the next frame. Hopefully we see some eggs down here. The queen's moved down. Got a nice brood pattern. I mean, something's gotta be going right to have this strong of a population in the middle of April. Yes, we got eggs, larva, brood, or capped brood. Got a crap ton of drones and not crazy about that, but that's the colony's decision, I guess, not mine. Something about this queen. I think she needs that to raise that many. Or maybe it's the number of frames I have with drone brood, but I didn't really I don't really see an overabundance amount. I do not see her on there. So what I'll do is I'll slide this frame over. It's a decent brood pattern. Um, in there where that looks open, it's got eggs in it. So she's been back over it again. I do not see her there. Frame's got some weight to it. Got a nice brood pattern on this side. They've came back and started to fill in with nectar, which isn't good. That'll lead to swarming real quick. I'm going to confirm she's not on here, and I'm going to give this frame to one of the splits. Uh, my hip gets to me. i got to squat down, give it a break. Okay, I'm pretty sure she's not on there. guess I'll know for sure in a couple days. Now, you wouldn't want to split this much if you're pushing for honey production, but if you're wanting to dr grow your colonies, this is a good way to do it early in the season because you've got all summer long to grow them. Nice brood pattern. They're back filling with nectar, which is not what I want to see. Did not really see the queen. It doesn't mean she's not in this box.
or on this frame. And I do not see her there. Pollen, nectar, nectar. Okay, so I'm gonna gather some resources to add to this box, this frame. Let's see what was on it. Pollen, nectar. So you gotta remember, I still got a colony that needs some eggs. So was there eggs on this frame? I cannot remember. Yes, I think this is the frame I'll give that colony up there. I'll set it over here. Ideally what I would like to do is hopefully find the queen in this box and move her back over to here. But that's going to depend what we find in this box. This box is resource frames, which I've got more of if we need. This one, I guess I could technically, I need to uh, clean up this first. I want to get ahead of myself, feel like I am a little bit here. My hip gets to hurt and then I start rushing. Queen cell right there. Hanging over the edge of that one. I don't want to hurt that. Unless I'm sticking, find the queen, I guess. Lots to remember, that's for sure. Okay, let's sit this back on top of there. Help them calm down a little bit. Why we work this part? See what we see. Crap load of brood or drone brood. I don't like that. Very heavy frame from all of the honey. Let me set this one down over here. This queen is a super queen. I hate to lose her. I may have to do is come back in a couple days and see which box has fresh eggs. Sometimes it's, it's easier to work a strong colony in stages like that. Okay. Very heavy frame again, because of all the nectar. But we do got worker brood. The honey flow must just be insane right now, because they are backfilling everything. Everything, this has a queen cell. Oh my, heavy frame again. Worker brood. Backfilling everything. They're putting the queen on vacation. And when the queen's on vacation, she likes to fly. No beekeeper wants their queen to fly. Now she's getting mated. Okay, come on queenie. I need to know where you are, girl. Worker brood, lots of nectar, backfilling everything. Everything. When I say backfilling, let me explain what that is in case you don't know. Let me smoke these bees and clear the frame a little bit for you. So you can see there's different cells. Up here, this is all nectar or honey that's got a lid on it or capped. Here we've got some open cells, which at one time, was looking like this and then it emerged and baby bees came out and instead of the queen returning and laying eggs in here the foragers beat her to it and they have put nectar in themselves so now the queen's running out of places to lay really quick and that's the first thing that triggers swarming the very first thing
you know, I, don't, I thought I wanted to stick this in here, but now I'm thinking I better give them a frame of open brood cells so that I know where the queen is in a couple days. If each one has a, a box with some open cells, that's going to tell me who has the queen. So let's stick this in here. We already know most of these frames, they ain't got any vacancy. Um, over here, we've got an empty brood frame, so we will give this frame to you. Okay, so I think that's how we're going to do it. We're just going to make sure every box has open brood or open been saying it wrong this whole time i get ahead of myself drawn comb with open cells for the queen to lay in and when i return in three or four days i'm going to know where the laying queen is i'm also by doing this making them weaker and uh, if they don't have any swarm cells they're not going to swarm Okay, got a nice frame here, drawn comb. So now the foragers will have a place to stick the nectar. The queen will have a place to lay. This should buy me a couple days, I would think, but we will find out. Tune in next week to see if this all goes awry. <laughs> Tune in next week to see if my plan goes to hell. Here again, we'll do the same thing. Give them a bottom board, or inner cover as a bottom board. Slide it over. Um, these box are entrances, uh, our bottom boards provide an entrance on both sides. Now I need to get rid of all that drawn comb and find the lid for each one of these. Find another frame for here. Well, what you didn't see at the last of the previous part of this video is me closing up the colonies. And that's basically going around and finding inner covers and bottom boards and lids. Today is April 19th, and I just went through these colonies to find out where the queen was. And it just so happened to be she's in this box that was on the very top, this gray box here. So these two down here, these two wood hives, and skip that one, and we come to the one labeled stand, that one there has queen cells, and they are all hunkered up around themselves, keeping them warm. We're only sitting at about 60 degrees today, so I understand why they're trying to keep those cells warm. They're very important to them, and it's a good thing to see that. Now, I do want to mention again, um, walk-away splits are kind of a roll of the dice. If you don't want to take that gamble, and you want to make sure that that colony has a chance, you would have a better chance ordering a mated queen. And in that scenario, you would want to wait a good 24 to 48 hours before you go ahead and throw a queen in there. Give them time to realize they're queenless. And in that case, you probably would want to remove all of the swarm cells. So it's nice to see all of the bees. They're all flying, but not like they were because they're weaker now. They're weaker colonies. They got duties inside of the colony that they need to tend to, like keeping the brood warm. So there's not as many foragers right now. So one thing I'd like to discuss real quick before I sign out. And that is how quick the bees have built up this summer. You know, I was watching my cherry tree and my peach tree and uh, the blooms on them were insane. Now what we're looking at here is a red bud tree. It's not a fruit tree by any means, but it'll help for the example I'm gonna give you. Now, when I was looking at my peach tree and my cherry tree, they had just as many flowers on them. And usually what happens is frost comes along and three quarters of those blooms fall to the ground. And the only blooms on the tree don't always get pollinated. So therefore the fruit production on a fruit tree is rather low. What I expect to happen this year, at least in my area, is the fruit crop to be huge because the trees did not get hit by frost and it's been spring-like, like it should be. So that's the reason these girls have built up just as fast as they have and that's why I was able to split them the way I did. Any questions or comments, those can be left down in the video description. And uh, 
hey folks i appreciate your time today hope you enjoyed the video look i don't want to make anyone sick or anything but check this out I'm gonna step over here. I just found a mess. Somebody gonna have to clean this mess up. Might as well be me.